See these Korean ribs? They're sticky, spicy, and they're delicious. I'm gonna show you how to make them. Hi, I'm Uncle Carl, foodie and world traveler. Come join me as I recreate some of the dishes that I've experienced from around the world. Thank you for joining me on this trip, and welcome to Twin Moons Tavern. These succulent ribs are inspired from my time in Korea. They are a perfect balance between spicy and sweet, filled with Asian flavor, juicy and super tender, and all around delicious. They're great as a meal or an appetizer. So let's get started. First, what you're gonna need. One rack of spare ribs, one and a half cups of chicken stock, one third cup of soy sauce, one third cup of rice vinegar, half a cup honey, one thumb of ginger, two to three cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of chili powder, two to three pieces of star anise, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and some olive oil. Okay, first we're gonna start with our ribs. If you notice, there's a paper thin layer somewhere between opaque and white in color coating the inside of the ribs. That's called silver skin. It is pretty tough and fairly indigestible and overall not that great. You wanna to try to peel that off. Just separate a little small bit of it to start off with, get a good grip and it'll come right off. As you can probably tell, it does take a little hand strength. If you can't get it off or if it's breaking apart and coming off in small pieces and you get frustrated, you don't have to take them off, but removing the silver skin will go a long way to making the ribs super tender. Once I have the silver skin off, I'm just cutting the ribs up. All you need to do is find the space between the bones and your knife should slice right through them. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of coarsely ground black pepper, at least two teaspoons of chili powder. If you want it spicier, obviously you can put in more, but if you don't want it so spicy, go ahead and substitute paprika for the chili powder. And then ask yourself, why are you making something called spicy sticky ribs? Once that's all in the ribs, you're gonna go ahead and just give them a good toss until the ribs are fully coated. Once all those ribs are nice and coated, you're gonna go ahead and put them to the side and let them sit while you make your braising liquid. Start off by getting yourself a piece of ginger, about the size of your thumb. Cut off all the skin. Slice it as thin as you can, and then give it the old Rocky Choppy. You want the ginger to be a fairly small mince, that way, if you bite into a solid piece, it's not too overpowering. And then with a few cloves of garlic, give them a crush, peel, and the old Rocky Choppy until they're nice and minced. Again, like the ginger, you want them to be a fairly small mince, so if you bite into a piece, it's not too overpowering. Get yourself a clean bowl, add a half a cup of honey, one and a half cups of chicken stock, while you're incorporating it, give it a stir so that honey starts to dissolve. Next is one third cup of soy sauce. Again, stirring as you go. One third cup of rice vinegar. Then go ahead and add your garlic and your ginger. Mix it up, making sure that honey is dissolved. And now we're gonna start cooking our ribs. For video purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and use my pan Ernst, but there's no way I'm gonna fit a full rack of ribs on this. You would normally do this in some kind of baking pan. So I'm getting Ernst nice and hot, adding a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and then just putting in my ribs. We're gonna sear these ribs and then braise them in the liquid we just made. Braising is a process where you, where you start your meat on the stove top so you can caramelize it, give it some color, give it like a crisp outer edge, and then you fill whatever pan you're using with your braising liquid and finish it off in the oven. This allows the flavor from the liquid to seep into the meat while allowing the meat to break down and become super tender and super, super juicy. Once those ribs have been caramelized on all sides, we're gonna go ahead and add our braising liquid. Be very, very careful here. You don't wanna spill it over. You don't wanna flare up, uh, you know, you are dealing with fire. Make sure you scrape out the bowl of any honey or other bits. Then you're gonna go ahead and bring it up to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, you're gonna cut it back down to a simmer and let it sit for a couple of minutes and then put it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. About halfway through that first 30 minutes, you're gonna realize that I forgot the star anise. Pull it out and add two pieces of star anise to it. Put it back in for that 30 minutes. Once those 30 minutes are up, take it out, flip the ribs, and then go put them back in the oven for another 30 minutes. Remember that pan is full of hot liquid, so be careful. After the second 30 minutes is up, you're gonna take them out, put them over the stove, 
bring that liquid up to somewhere between a simmer and a boil and start reducing that liquid. While it's reducing, you're gonna baste those ribs with that liquid and just keep on doing it until that liquid starts thickening and sticking to the ribs. After a couple of minutes of that, the ribs are ready. Go ahead and set them to the side to start to cool. And for garnish, I'm going to go ahead and take a green onion and just slice it up a little bit. I'm cutting it at an angle here to make the cuts a little prettier. Go ahead and start piling your ribs up. Drop on some pieces of the green onion that you sliced up. Sprinkle on a few sesame seeds. Clean up the plate. And there you have it. These are super delicious. To be perfectly honest, to date, this has got to be my best recipe that I've put the video. If you like Asian, if you like spicy, if you like ribs, these are going to be nothing but joy for you. Dig into them and be sure you got plenty of napkins. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time here at the Tavern.